Have, have you got across this? This is the school which is teaching kids about conspiracies. It is one of the wackiest stories I've ever read in my life, and I've read a lot of news stories. It's basically about this makeshift, makeshift school where I believe someone went and worked for a month undercover at this makeshift school called Universal Kids in Greater Manchester. It's an illegal school. Who knew you could have illegal schools? I thought they were quite heavily regulated, but this one slipped under the net. And um, this, this person worked undercover at the school, and they were teachers that believed dinosaurs never existed, viruses were never real, aircraft contrails caused dementia, and that crystals could cause serious illness. But things like the government like and the... So that's not my drama. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that could be, maybe you could really. write about it for your third book, would it be? <laughs> but anyway... But this, so this so it's a lot of the classics. So it's all COVID vaccine stuff. It's all that classic... It's all the classic conspiracy theory stuff, but also whacked in with some of that kind of almost religious conservatism stuff that dinosaurs never existed and all of this hmm. other I, random uh, stuff. Not in social drop, but I just wonder whether the, the, you, you said how do they get in. The answer is they're not setting themselves up as a school. They start with a homeschooling thing and then it just... Because homeschooling isn't really regulated. No. And that's, it spreads from there, I think. But there were children, Jeremy, between the age of 8 and 14 who were not taught the national curriculum. You know, this is, this is quite serious. We're not, we're not just talking... You know, we, we talk about homeschooling and how that's not regulated. But there were kids who were just not taught the national curriculum for how long? And it didn't take until this news invest investigation by the Times for this sort of illegal activity to be un unveiled. Well, is classic investigation. The, there is a comment from the school. By the way, the, the school is spelt Universal Kids, and Kids is spelt K-I-D-Z. And that's two L's in Universal. That would be a red, a red flag. flag. <laughs> 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 that was so, a giveaway. I'm talking about this. I uh, yeah, I, apparently I have to say that they only operate around 11 hours a week, and it's a parent-child community initiative. There we go. That's their defence. Right. What do you think about that, Richard? I'm curious to know what the parents knew. Like when their kids came home from school and they were like, what did you do at school today? We yeah. learned that dinosaurs didn't exist. It's, I don't know. I'm just... Well, maybe the parents are kind of into it. There's a lot of yeah. conspiracy well, it, stuff. Well, I actually think that the, the rise of the online conspiracy theory community, particularly post-pandemic, when people were trapped at home, everybody was kind of losing their minds and people kind of find these conspiracy theories and then they find kinship through these groups of people online and look some of it is like oh my goodness this stuff is quite funny because it's all about crystals and stuff but some of it is really troubling there's a lot of anti-semitism based in this there's a lot of stuff against the world economic forum and um you know uh, sort of things saying that Anne Frank's diaries weren't real. So there's a very mm. troubling, dark, anti-Semitic thread that runs through this uh, and, and as well. Finland doesn't exist? That's a big conspiracy theory that I mean, Finland... That's quite out there, isn't it? I mean, that's quite wild. I think Dom this... Jolly investigated that by going to Finland, which you, you wouldn't have thought was necessary. But then they said, well... Does Dom no, Jolly exist? Well, they said that what's happened is the plane's rather like your, your flight. It's just hanging somewhere. He steps off and they just put scenery up. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> literally. Tom Jolly's arrived in Maidenhead and uh, they've gone yeah, to a bunker in Maidenhead. It. And it's this like... is quite comprehensive, though, isn't it? Like, it's a big agenda to get yeah. all of these conspiracies and you know what? the curriculum. Up. It's, it's, it's 30 quid a day to send your kid to this school. Oh, hang on a minute. That's just it's gone so it's <laughs> child care. There's a lot of people that actually. Yeah, I was saying that's why most... child care costs are so yes. high. Of all the correspondents on the BBC, um, the most high profile is this young woman called Mariana Spring, mm. who they've appointed brilliantly as the disinformation correspondent she's working seven days a week with this stuff she is it goes on and on she gets trolled so much yeah, by people saying you're spreading disinformation do you know what i mean it's like people yeah. looking through the looking glass on this i had some 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 they were polite but crazy guys come to my house about the with serving me with during covid that i had apparently said that the vaccine you know might be a good thing like i didn't think that was controversial and they served me with some sort of legal document and I wasn't in, my wife took it. And uh, it was this, something about the Nuremberg trials. And it started in the year of our Lord, 2022. And, and I showed it to a lawyer and they said, look, anything that starts in the year of our Lord is not a legal document. <laughs> you don't need to read further. God. But it just showed, but there were about 30 of them, you know. Wow. Yeah, they all and had then, these and yellow. And pretty scary weird, to people. Well, it wasn't, I mean, they were, they were fine, but I just thought it's just crazy that this thing can grip people. It, Aisha in the mirror, Okay, let's just have a look at this clip first.